Salut à tous, Romain Grosjean, le retour du World EX arrive, euh, on court pour le climat, on se retrouve sur YouTube, Twitch et motorsport.tv. Ich freue mich sehr auf die World X Saison und darauf fürs Klima rennen zu fahren. Hi, ich wünsche euch alle eine fantastische Saison in World EX 2022 of Racing for the Climate. Hey, I'm Patrick Wong, I'm looking forward to World EX and Racing for the Climate. Bonjour tout le monde, j'attends avec impatience le World EX et la course pour le climat. Hi Zebras, I'm looking forward to World EX and Racing for the Climate. Everybody can hear us. Everybody can hear us. Everybody can see us. Unbelievable. Hello, I'm Dave Richardson. I need loads of introduction. The man alongside me needs no introduction. Mike Rockefeller, good evening. Here we are, season two. Yes. Hi, Dave. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I just want to see uh, a lot of action. And this sight of being on board of the very car that has just gone to the very top of the timing chart now. Here is indeed the uh, full uh, result from qualifying. Pole position then, Jury Toman for RAGE Sports. Then Martin Stefanko for the home team, Williams Esports P2. Then it's Luca Kita for Bilo Racing Team Euronics. Let's have a look at the race format now then that's new for 2022 here in the uh, World EX Championship. A 20-minute qualifying determines the starting grid for the two quarter-finals, one for the pro racing drivers, one for the eSports racers. The best five drivers from each group proceed to the semi-final before the final two-lap head-to-head -head shootout for the best pro racing driver and the best eSports racer. All cars reaching at least one final will qualify for the Super Final at the Nürburgring Nordschleife on December the 13th. And there you can see drivers in final stages of preparation and focus and chewing of the bottom lip as Philippe Dennis then uh, gets ready uh, for this uh, very, very important race for BS Plus competition. Illuminates his face just to give extra focus to the makeup that has been applied uh, for tonight's programme. Jolly glad that he can't hear anything that I am saying, otherwise I would be welted good and proper. And the cars are released. The power now has got to be tamed. Keep your eyes on Lasse Sorensen. He'll try and make a move early on. But Gordon Mutsch has got it all under control as we go through the first turns here at Silverstone. It's Mutsch from Sorensen hanging out around the outside, which would give him the inside for the next one. Philippe Dennis also trying to make a move as well. Henry Drury and Lobato and Vantor has done well. Vantor has moved up to P6. But it is Gordon Mutsch leading from Lasse Sorensen. Sorensen, who of course was so, so dominant in season one. Again, not, not afraid of hanging it around the outside, but Philippe Dennis is in a good position here because he can allow potentially Lasse Sorensen to do loads of work for him and try and carve out a niche as they run into the uh, national pit straight for the first time of asking then. And then this very, very fast corner, which is Cops. And this is Gordon, much harder work than for RAG Esports. We can see him on his simulator now, uh, keeping the hard charging Lasse Sorensen at bay. But Sorensen is virtually welded to the back of him. You can see Lasse Sorensen, look, he is absolutely fighting Gordon much with everything he's got. Lap one is in the book. Mike, clean, tidy, brilliant racing so far. Yes, brilliant racing and we see the top three, they just have a small gap, small gap. I mean, they are racing hard, but you know, Lobato, he, he can't really follow, even though they are racing hard each other. Now he's closing slightly in because obviously this fights, they really, oh, now we saw Sorin off, oh, what happened there? Oh, Sorenzo oh, went oh. off. He did go off, that has allowed Philip Dennis to get right alongside. Now, amazingly, Lasse Sorensen carried a lot of the speed he had across the curbs, the grass, the dirt, it mattered not. And Lasse Sorensen has been able to hold on to that P2 place. Philip Dennis with a whale tail then, and uh, something of a tank slapper, but he kept it pointing in the right direction. Now, all of a sudden, keep an eye on Lobato, because as these drivers are fighting, Lobato is getting closer. But of course, Gordon Much here, Mike, he's doing exactly what he needed to do. And that's try and build a little bit of a margin, just four tenths over uh, Lasse Sorensen at the moment, because Sorensen's rearview mirror is full of Philip Dennis, of course. 
don't rule Philippe Dennis out of this yet either because he's sitting pretty in P3. And I wonder, Mike, if there is a strategic ploy here from Dennis and he's allowing Sorensen to do all the hard work ahead of him. Look at that. I mean, Sorensen around the outside. Wow. Now he's in a really, really good oh. position. That was awesome. That was brilliant. A super move from Lasse Sorensen, who puts Gordon Much down into P2. Sorensen tried for lap after lap at almost every turn to try and find a way past Gordon Much. And, well, he waited. He rehearsed at a couple of turns and then he made it stick. Gordon Much will be bitterly disappointed because he'd done such a good job. This level two race is going to finish. So the TK9 e-speed driver, Lasse Sorensen, heads to cross the timing line and takes the win. Lasse Sorensen then for TK9 e-speed. He led the cars across the line ahead of Gordon Much, and then it was Philippe Dennis, Raphael Lobato, Henry Drury, Miklas Born, Nicholas Hillebrand, uh, Jack Aitken then, a DNF for Dries Van Tor. There are the klaxons. No time for the commentator's curse. Let's get on with quarterfinal two then, here in level two. And a great start there from uh, Toman Alan Terzik and Luca Kita, having something of a ding dong battle over the uh, P2 places. They run side by side. I think there's some issue with the timing because Stefanko is leading by 42 seconds. I think there's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I think you might be right. Uh, we can only call what we see, of course, and uh, what we're seeing is, well, if anything, in the early stages to use of this... somebody else. No, I don't see anyone. Yeah, we don't see you as well. Ah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that's it's the like problem there. It's ghost ways. Yeah. I will talk to the others. So there you can see, and also here, a race director as well. So uh, there is... Uh, uh, Martin then, and uh, that's why uh, there is some issues for Martin Stefanko then, who's dropping oh. down the order to where he should. Uh, so P2, uh, the eSports uh, driver, is Alan Terzik, and uh, then right alongside P4 is uh, Luca Kita, and Luca Kita doing the chasing Martin here. Where can times. Luca Kita try and provoke a mistake from Alan Terzik? That's precisely what he's trying to do. But of course, he has got Devin Browner right behind him as well. So this is really difficult, Mike, when you're trying to attack ahead and you're also trying to protect yourself from a predator that's behind. I've used it on air so many times. You're right in the middle, you're hunting, but you're being hunted at the same time, Mike. Yeah, it's great to watch, honestly. I mean, Tursic, such a great guy, very, very fast and successful last year, won some races and now you know, uh, sorry, and uh, he didn't, but uh, Luca Kita to, to have him in the mirror. I mean, Luca, he's, he's really quiet. He doesn't talk much, but when he's behind the wheel, he is extremely fast. Indeed, he's like a demon just waiting to be unleashed. There was a small mistake uh, from Terzik, which cost him some valuable tents and maybe some traction, but I think he's been able to save it. I think it is the tire dropping, you know, over the course of the race. Okay. Those cars, they are wild on the tire. And here you see, wow, on the inside, uh, Devin Whoa. Brown. Oh, and he makes the move. This is Not brilliant yet. stuff. They go side by side. Keita does his level best to defend. Browner is definitely looking really, really predatory here. And, uh, well, Keita is having to do everything he can, metaphorically sticking his elbows out the side of the car to try and make it a bit wider than it is. And and let, let's not forget, I mean, Martin Stefanko, we don't know, there's an issue, so it's hard for us now to tell, you know, if he's really in the race or not, but definitely, Jerry Thoman is the leader, and uh, he has quite a gap. He's, I mean, we, he's doing an awesome job. And then Oscar Christensen, I mean, the first race, and to follow Thomas Schmidt and to be that close, I think he's doing extremely well in his race here. Uh, on his pr premiere, so very very good job by him. And there we have him now yeah. in the, on board and also uh, on the split screen. And I mean, look at it. He's so close. You know, we didn't talk about it, but he's on P6. I think he's doing fantastic today, honestly. 
It's a very fair point. And Oscar, my apologies. Perhaps I've not given enough attention to you because it's a hugely creditable performance. And there he is. Uh, we can see him hard at work inside the simulator then before crossing the timing line and bringing it home. So Stefanko, Toman, Terzik, Keita, Browner, Schmidt, Christensen, Lee and McDuff. And the fastest lap, a 144.74, we think, recorded on the graphics on the left-hand side of your screen. And, uh, wow, another fun, very, then. very exciting yeah, quarter final. Let's hear some of the nice conversations from the along. drivers now. <laughs> I was like, what the is going on? Always changing the position for us to second. By the way, when I, when I heard that there was going to be less grip, I didn't know there was going to be no grip. Like, I had, like, zero grip on the surface. Yeah, I think it's green track. Yeah, yeah, game was a good fight though. Top three, three. Please drive back to the pits by yourself. No escape. Martin, you have to reconnect to the <coughs> server, please. In uh, the World EX Championship, this is season two of the World EX Championship. Here's the result from our second quarter final. Jerry Toman then for RAG Esports ahead of Martin Stefanko for Williams Esports. Then it was Alan Terzic. They were the top three. It's Toman, Sorensen, Stefanko, Much on the first two rows of the grid as the cars are released for five laps in level three. Here we go. Hold on to your hats, your underwear, and anything else that might be loose around you because this is going to be brilliant. Jury Toman is that's leading the way from Sorensen, from Terzic, from Stefanko, Much, Dennis, Kita, Browner, Adrury, and Lobato. It's the opening lap. Yeah, very, uh, very nice so far, very clean, um, I mean, nobody did a mistake really, I saw something happening at the back, I think it was Lobato was involved, uh, but we didn't see it really, so in the front it looks like it's very clean, um, Toman I have to say, what a guy, I mean he comes here first time and uh, he's leading again and uh, let's see if he can if he can beat famous Lasse Sorensen tonight. Really, really close in this level three race. We've got five laps of the 5.89 kilometer Silverstone circuit. Lasse Sorensen, oh, so sideways. That will play into the hands of Alan Terzic. It was a good gather up by Sorensen who did hold it all together, but he's lost some valuable momentum. And here comes Alan Terzic. They are side by side. Lasse Sorensen and Terzic then fighting over this P2 position. So yeah, he didn't make the move. No. I mean, it just uh, looks like Lasse could defend. But uh, yeah, that, that cost them quite a lot of time. On the uh, hangar straight now, heading into the uh, Stow turn. And you can see then Luca Keita just pulled out the slip through of Philip Dennis, taking a look at the inside as well. And uh, the gap between uh, P1 and P4, there you can see it, the live gap for you on screen. The battle from RAG Esports and Williams Esports as well. It's Jiri Toman and uh, Martin Stefanko, the two uh, that we have in graphics for you as we start the final lap of this uh, level three race. It's extraordinary close and provides great race action for us. Look at the top four. They are virtually painted as one. So Jerry Toman from Lasse Sorensen. Has Jerry done enough here? Lasse Sorensen will not give up until the checkered flag flies. And uh, there you can see as he moves in under braking through the final turns. But surely Jerry Toman has done enough to take the victory. As he heads towards the timing beam now, it is Toman ahead of Lasse Sorensen. Uh, Terzi ahead of Much, ahead of Dennis. Stefanko, Kita, Browner. Lobato Drury as uh, absolutely yeah, it's too extraordinary much. racing. It's, it's so hard for um, like second, the end of the second sector through these uh, yeah. right, left, right, left. Here's the result then of that semi final Jiri Toman and Lasse Sorensen, P1 and P2. It's R8G Esports and TK9 Espeed. P1 and P2 out of Ellen Terzic. Gordon Butch, Philippe Dennis, Martin Stefanko, Luca Kita, Devin Browner, Raphael Lobato, and Henry Drury. Here we are in level four, then two lap shootout. It's uh, Toman ahead of Lasse Sorensen. It's really those two fighting it out now on the it last, on the final for two laps. 
Thank you, Mike. Whoa, big oh. error. Lasse Sorensen has overcooked it, Mike. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. I think the race is over for him. Oh, now it's an easy one, great. normally. Well, it just proves the point that sometimes when you push as hard as you push, it can bite you on the uh, on the bottom. And I have to say, again, and we've seen this twice, if not three times tonight, when Lasse Sorensen, when something has gone wrong for him, he is a king of recovery, but he's got such a lot of uh, time to make up now. And of course, this uh, two-lap shootout, it's going to be an impossibility for him. But nonetheless, uh, he did get it pointing back in the right direction again. And you can see him sliding the car around here. Uh, what a surprise. I, I mean, I didn't know that he's that. Oh, what a crash in the back. That is race over for Lasse. Uh, I think, yeah, now Jerry can really slow down. No rear wing left. Car is broken completely. Hey, that's Aww. something new. We didn't see that uh, before from Lasse. So you see the pressure is up. Jerry Toman is, is just flying. Good and Lasse had to try everything Congrats, to basically Congrats, beat him. And didn't work out. Beautiful. And there we see some celebration. You only do you only do in esports. <laughs> in reality, your team would kill you. Yes, you'd be in so much trouble, wouldn't you? Uh, but. I've been really, really impressed. Come on. We yeah. love donuts. Uh, and yeah. that's a good sequence of donuts, Shiri. Uh, impressive. Well done, Shiri Toman, then. Very, very impressive drive indeed. A real cool customer and obviously a clearly very, very talented racer as well. So let's take a look at the uh, complete results then following our first of our uh, Season 2 uh, races. And uh, here we have it, Jerry Toman then, uh, ahead of Lasse Sorensen. Then it was Alan Terzic, Gordon Much, Philippe Dennis, Martin Stefanko, Luca Kita, Devin Browner, Raphael Lobato, and Henry Drury. There, the celebration fireworks, quite rightly. <laughs> that to looks see. nice. Great to see. Very happy to, to get the win. Uh, the qualifying was very tough and very very tight with Martin there. Uh, I just about managed to get a proper lap in, in the final run uh, to get the pole. Uh, the quarter final was pretty easy, just uh, Martin having that ghost car. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty straightforward for me to, to finish that one. Uh, semi final was, was much tougher. Uh, with Lass having a good pace, he managed to. Uh, preserve his tire very well and he probably had a better pace uh, than me in the semi-final uh, but yeah still uh, got that win in the end uh, and in the final I expected a tough fight with Lasse but uh, he made a mistake in the third corner and then it was pretty pretty easy for me to finish that race and, and get the overall win. Martin what do you think? What a final! <laughs> what a <laughs> final! <laughs> Lasse, he was so quick everywhere, and uh, in the final round, in the final lap, in the last shootout against uh, uh, Gigi Tomman from Czech Republic, he just blown away everything. And but as Dave said, uh, Gigi was a really, really, really brilliant driver. Yes, yes. Uh, he did a brilliant race and. Uh, partying on rallycross style that was great <laughs> absolutely so congratulations yeah. to uh, Gigi Toman yeah, of course congrat congratulations to RGE Sports with the Vero 88 the car I think we will see more of, uh, of this I car guess this so. season I guess so and yeah I'm excited about it